Oh, this looks so nice. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. Alright, what's up everyone? I'm back with uh, Garrett from GM Golf. Good, good. Here with another match. Played the, actually the first five holes yep. on Garrett's channel. So if you guys missed that, that's also in the link in the description. But we're playing the last uh, five holes here at Craig Ranch. A little windy out here, a little cold, but we'll see what me and Garrett can do. He's yeah. currently one down. One down. One down through five, and yep. we got five holes left. Racing the sunlight here. It's it's been it's been a good match so far. I mean, we're not playing great, but we'll see. We'll see if we can dial it in for you guys on these uh, last five holes of the match. Also, we're playing with our guy, Jeremy, over here, if you see some balls flying around in the background. But yeah, here we go. On to the 11th hole out here at TBC Craig Ranch. A little par four. Driver in hand for Luke and me as well. we got wind off the left here because we've been loving the left balls today. Yeah. Oh, man. It's been great. The hole been, goes a little right. Been feeling that snap hook a lot. <laughs> oh, no. That's a little left there. What are we doing? <laughs> if the ball is in the rough, it's like so hard to actually find it because it sits down so much. Yeah. Oh, Garrett's finally hit a good one. Finally. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that as a diss. Well, it's true. It's true. I have not hit a good drive all day. It's good. All right. So that's where my ball is. I am so far left here. I actually have never, I've quite literally never hit this ball this far left on this hole. So it's a good thing I have it on camera so I know I can say I did. You know what not to do for the future. <laughs> 183 here. Okay. This is a... You know, Does I he could, go for the high slice? I get, yeah, I could get crazy with him and get the high slice here. Might need to go for the high slice. I feel like that's your only chance of actually getting it. Yeah, if I want to get close. Close. I mean, this is obviously a safer one. But... Open up a little five or four iron, just flop oh, shot. <laughs> you didn't even get it over the tree? Oh, if you like open it up and hit a nice high slice, no problem. Hit like a five. It's very doable, I'll I tell you that. I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm going to open up a six iron. I like it. It's almost like you're playing a flop six iron if cut. This doesn't get over the trees, man. Yeah. I, I'm going to have a hard time on the next shot. So this is a risky shot, but I like this play here. Aiming out of bounds. Yep. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, oh he's done it. That's still, that was a good shot. Just over the green, I think. I, no, I feel like it's like really far. <laughs> it could be like 30 yards over the game. Oh, no, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> this shot, this shot has me feeling some type of way. 136. Actually, it's actually in between. Wow, I can't talk. It's actually in between clubs here, so. I think I'm going with a little pitching wedge. 136, left to right wind. That flag is all the way over there on the left side. I'd rather swing hard. I got a 50 degree. That and sounded thin. I almost missed it. <laughs> Oh my god. Just carried the bunker though. That was like a groove away from being in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Garrett's here just left the green, about pin high. This is the definition of short sighted folks. <laughs> and running away, literally six feet of greens. Yeah, you really can't see on this on this oh. camera, but it's it's all downhill right here. Oh. <laughs> that thing is just zooming. I honestly I, I don't think I could have hit it much better. There was just no stopping that shot, but mistake from the fairway. Luke here, actually, the door the door is open. Luke has a pretty uh, pretty standard chip, lots of green to work with, so the door is just a little bit open. That club is sneaky in the way. Should I move it? Uh, no, nah, you're fine. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll just get it up a little higher. Good. Oh, you're going higher. I respect it. When he goes right at the club, but it's good. Oh, look at this. That was dirty. I was gonna keep going. Nice. All right, we got Gary here up the hill. Oh, <laughs> clutch! Pressure's on. Well, four footers looking a little longer now. <laughs> Luke here down the hill. Four's par. To stay one up. Never a doubt. Oh, kind of wobbled there on me a little bit. Kind of scared me. <laughs> nice putt. Here we go, guys. Um, on to the second hole of this video. Par five, into the wind, pretty straight away. Yeah, going a little bit left, so. Kind of air on the right side if you're gonna air, I feel like. We're just slapping balls around today. Oh, it was not very good. All right, Garrett also going driver here. 
Well. <laughs> oh no, I it's, heard trees. It, I heard trees. It's like the how to play golf hitting bad shots video. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But also play well. Exactly. We're just trying to <laughs> score with our like, I would say like C grade games yeah. today. <laughs> exactly. All right. We found Luke's ball. He's going to be laying up about 162 yards. That's what he said at least. Definitely not the play to go for it. This is definitely that video though, like how to hack it around a course and still hopefully score decent. Yeah. Gonna try to lay it up short of the water here. And hopefully not hit that branch. Yeah, I was about to say that's <laughs> or that branch. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a penalty. Really? I think so. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> not in my eyes. Oh, that's perfect. Is that actually a penalty? Like improving your lie? Um, I think so. Like, or like improving your positioning or something? Yeah, like if it's not part of your actual swing and you like clip a branch, I think it's a penalty. Huh? I think so. Dude, there are some stupid rules. <laughs> <laughs> These lies out here in the rough are pretty brutal. Pretty unreal. Oh wow. I got an eight iron. I'm trying to like play a weird little hook, trying mm. to get it like a little further up there because... I'm gonna be honest. If you try to play that hook, I don't think it's gonna hook. You don't think so? From that lie, but. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and play a little low runner to the right. Oh, wow. That's it. It's not bad. Oh, don't get me in the rough. Do not. I just crept through. 177 here. I'm guessing it's flyer line. I'm gonna hit a 9 iron. Hopefully, uh, a little right of the pen. Pretty good. Looks pretty good. Hot bounce. I think it kind of rolled to the back. Roll oh, back. oh, might come back. Come might on. come back. <laughs> that actually might be pretty good. That's, I think that could be close. Yeah, it could be. It really could be. <laughs> that was sick. We might be playing somewhat of speed golf now because we're only on our second hole and we probably have 40 minutes at most of daylight. So I think I'm in there pretty tight for the birdie. Luke here, how far you got? 122. This is one of those. Um, by the way, guys, I'm gonna have a video coming out with me figuring out my wedges. I just got new wedges, like actual like wedge degrees. I've never had a, what is this, a 51, 55, 60. I've never had these angles. So I'm trying to figure out the distances. This is one. Of, this is gonna be one of those shots. I have to like actually look into my notes and what I, <laughs> how far you what hit I it. Wrote down. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, okay. 122. Oh, this looks so oh. nice. Get back there. Waiting for a reaction. Wait, a waiting for a reaction from Jeremy. It's probably like an inch. Tough crowd. Garrett's right in there tight. Why is it all blurry? Why is it not I focusing? Played it to perfection. Not kidding. I did not play for that, guys. I did not mean to uh, roll it off that back slope, but we got that for the birdie. Luke's in here probably about 15, 20 feet. Where's birdie? Not a bad position. Let's see if you can make it. Put some pressure on me here. Oh. The lips today, all lip, no hole for Luke today. All right, Garrett's got this. Garrett's got this for oh, it's for birdie. I thought it was for eagle for a second. Bro. Oh, Garrett. You what stroke was that? <laughs> you can't do that, Garrett. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. All right, good par. Thanks. One down, three to play. Just got to come from behind now after missing that putt. We got a par four here. It's a little dog leg right. Yeah, a little bit to the right. Some bunkers down there in the middle. It's kind of a long hole. Started left, going a little left. But it should be all right, though. Just a hair left of the fairway. It's going to be okay over there. All right, can I please just hit one good fade? Oh, and he did. That's over the bunker, yeah? When it gets a little bit cold out here, it gets a little hard, but it should be good. Is this really 220? This this hole's long, yeah. Holy long. Got a long, long hole. Garrett's in the rough again, but this is a good lie. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna open up a six iron here, try and get it over this tree. 220. After seeing Luke's shot on the first hole we played in this video, I think this one's gonna go pretty far. Hmm. I don't know, do something. Oh, that's rolling up there, just up the front. 
think that's honestly that. that could be perfect. I, just, I don't know what. Nice. Yeah, I don't know where that flag is, but watch me hit. Watch me to hit it to two and a half feet again, and then miss <laughs> the putt. <laughs> All right, how far? We got 185, a little bit uphill. Wind should be off the right, getting or going to the right. Getting kind of cold though. Yeah, I feel like the ball's not gonna be traveling quite yeah. as far now. I don't know how you're in a t-shirt right now. Yeah, I don't think a seven's enough here, so I'm gonna go with a soft six. Oh my. That was nice. That was nice. Could be good. We'll see. I think my ball just landed on the wrong side of the ridge there and just, oh, this is kind of gnarly. This is kind of a tricky putt because the pin is just placed over the ridge, right to left and straightens out at the end. Going to be slow, then it's going to be fast. This is, uh, this would be impressive. If he gets this one close, I will be very impressed. See, this is, this is a little bit of a difference here. For me, personally, as a guy who's not a pro golfer, I would never go onto the other side of the hole and, like, read it. But you can just tell, you know? He has his routine. He stays locked in. It's cool to watch. I'm just not smart enough to just walk up there and hit it like you would. <laughs> oh, my break. Is it not on autofocus? I thought it was. I'm not gonna overthink this one, guys. I'm just getting up there and hitting it. Oh. That was a good roll. Well, almost. Rolled it on my line. Now I just gotta hope. <laughs> Still one down, guys. Still one down, but we'll see. Luke kind of has a tricky putt here. Just lag it up there. Lag it down. <laughs> just, just lag it up there, Luke. Oh, and it did not stay up. It dove on him. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, kind of what's going on in my mind and all these shots and kind of my mentality behind all these shots and not only me, but all the different professionals, just kind of what we're thinking about I mean, instead of just kind of the basic things that we're talking about on these videos, we're basically just talking about what the yardage number is and that's about it. If you guys want to check that out, I actually have my course management program that goes through all that. I'm actually planning to add more material to that program there. So if you guys want to check that out, there's a free version of it. It's not the real version, but the free version is in the top right corner or there'll be a link in the description. We got a drivable par four here, water left. It's into though, so it might, yeah. might be a little tough. I'm gonna aim at the right bunkers over there, try and uh, sling a draw in there if anything. I didn't see it, but it looks like he likes it. A little right, but. We're in the fairway. My only goal was to uh, not hit, yeah, not hit the little pole hook there. <laughs> Nice. It's a safe play, guys. Just a little left of mine. A little, little wedge for both of us. Yep. We got 55 yards here. The pin's in kind of a weird spot. It's like there's like a ridge before and kind of runs past or runs away from you after the ridge. It's just a hard shot here. This actually is a very you, tough You kind of want to just like land it a little bit short of anything. I feel like every pin location's been tough today, pretty much. Honestly, yeah, they've been pretty good today. All, all on ridges. Yeah, I mean, it's just tough. Yeah. It's either you're going to be end up short or a little bit long. I went for the spin shot. Don't think it spun on me. Let's see, do I have a putt? Kind of have a putt. Just off the green. Off the green? Yeah, just off. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, it runs away big time. Ooh, that was dirty. I'm expecting myself to have to make this, so I'm going to go for the chip. <laughs> That's such a weird statement to me. Uh, I just, putting sucks. I just, <laughs> I just never think about like making my chip shots. But Garrett's over here just <laughs> hitting all those trick shots, so he's used to it. Oh, it's spot on me. That's pretty good though. That's Jimmy. I'll give you that. And for the par, guys. Luke down the hill. The tickets one up. Going into the last. This guys, this has been a solid match. Leave a like. This is uh, we've had a couple matches now, but I would say this is the best one we've had so far. It's been the closest. Let me tell you though, this putt, it's a slick one. Yep. I knew it. I knew I needed to make it. Nice birdie, nice birdie. Thank, thank you. One up going into the last. All right, here we go. 211 yards, finishing hole, par three over some water. Luke's going first here. He has honors after that birdie. Be the number. Oh, it is. He's putting. 
That water really sneaks up on you there, really closely, close on that left side there. That was a six iron, yeah? That was a five. Took a little bit off of it. All right, I got six iron here, guys. Got to pull one close here. Finish strong. Come on. It's all or nothing. Sounded a little thin. A little toey. Need to get there. Just a little short, right? I couldn't see it. I honestly could not tell you. <laughs> I have no clue. Don't know how Garrett made it there. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I actually don't know how either. <laughs> yeah, Garrett's nice. got this uh, chip shot kind of down the ridge here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... I gotta make it. I literally have to make it. My only option here. Oh, that looks pretty good. Wow. Garrett, I'm not joking. You're one of the best chippers I've ever I've ever seen. Thank you. Guys, unfortunately, I'm just guessing, but I don't think that's going to be enough to uh, to tie up this match. You need to see this one? No, you're good. <laughs> Luke here. For his birdie. See if he can knock it in. Never a doubt, ice in his veins. Good match, good match. That was fun, that was fun. Wow. Was fun getting another match with you, Garrett. Hey, that's what, what is that, our third one now? I think that was the third match, yeah. I, I think that's the closest we've ever been, yeah? No? That, was, that was one of the better matches that we've had together. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed another match with me and Garrett. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying out this new mic here. I'll be making a few more videos here this off season just because I have more time and I'm not traveling for tournaments anymore. So if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, as always, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out when you guys do that. Also, leave a comment. I read through every single comment. I might, I might not comment back to every single one of them, but I, I read through every single one of them. So leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.